Hey folks, one of my students has run into an issue where compositing the various AOVs has not turned out as he expected. Now generally when I render out of Arnold, I have merge AOVs turned on, so I get a single multi-channel EXOR, and then I can shuffle in the various AOVs that I need. In this particular case, we have a setup where the AOVs have been rendered out as separate files, and that's absolutely fine to do. The issue that you'll run into will be that the AOVs themselves don't have any alpha channels. So the beauty, the RGBA will have an alpha channel, but the AOVs won't have an alpha channel. So now you need to go and grab an alpha from your beauty pass. You can't use the shuffle node to do this. You need to use a different node called the shuffle copy. And the main difference really between the shuffle and the shuffle copy is that the shuffle copy has two inputs. So the shuffle node only has one input and that works out absolutely fine when you've got a multi-channel EXOR. But when you've got multiple EXORs that have been rendered out separately and you want to grab the alpha from a separate RGBA or a separate beauty, you need to use the shuffle copy node. And a fundamental thing to try and do when solving problems is to simplify them down as much as possible. So in this case, the script has all the rest of the AOVs brought in and that probably made things more complicated to debug. Uh, so really we want to try and keep it as simple as we possibly can. So I'm going to grab the uh, the albedo here just to demonstrate. And if we take a look, if I put it on the viewer here and we take a look by hitting A over the viewport, we can see, yeah, there is, there's no alpha. And the merge nodes expect an alpha, so it isn't going to merge correctly no matter what you do. Uh, it's not going to turn out the way you would like. So we need to go and grab an alpha. And the alpha in this case will be in the beauty. So if I hit R for read, and I can go and grab the beauty EXOR here. Let's open this guy up and take a look. And there's our beauty. And if I hit A here, I can see, yeah, there's an alpha right there. Now the shadow is baked in here. And I would probably look to uh, render the shadow out separately, but be that as it may, you could grab it with a, a shadow mat or a shadow mask uh, AOV if you want to try and mask those things in. That's a different way to go about it. So what I'm looking to do is copy this alpha over onto this AOV. And I'll need to do a similar setup for all the other AOVs. And like I mentioned, I can't use the shuffle. So let's try and use a shuffle copy. So here's a shuffle copy just here. And I can hook them up like this. And let's take a look at my shuffle copy. And if I hit A. Now at the moment you can see that the shuffle copy, if I put the viewer to it, is pulling through the beauty. And that's not what I want. In fact, I want to pull through the albedo. So the way to swap these quite quickly is to just select the shuffle copy and hit, hit shift and X. And that will swap the inputs. So you can see that the beauty is coming into one and the shuffle copy is coming into two here. And that's what I want in this case. The, the, the albedo is getting pumped through the shuffle copy. Now, by default, the shuffle copy node here is set up to take input 2 and take the RG and B from input 2, which is the albedo, and to take the alpha from input 1. And this is input 1 here, and that's exactly what I want. So I actually don't have to do anything to the shuffle copy by default. And let's check to see that that's worked. Select your shuffle copy, make sure the viewer is looking at that shuffle copy. And I can see the albedo here, which is what I want is that particular AOV. And if I hit A, yeah, look, I've grabbed the alpha from the beauty. In this particular case, we will need to go and use the shuffle copy instead of the shuffle. And we'll need to do that across all the different AOVs here. So instead of this shuffle, we'll have a shuffle copy and we'll have to pump the, the beauty into number one and each AOV into number two the whole way across. So I prefer to work with a multi-channel EXR and just shuffle in what I need, but you can use a shuffle copy in this case and pump it across all the AOVs. It's a little bit messier for the layout of the node graph, but it should work out absolutely fine. So that's a look at using the shuffle copy instead of the shuffle for split AOVs or separated out AOVs.